Real Madrid with Erling Haaland on their wish list. Mbappe as well, and that would be for next year, saying that Real Madrid have the advantage in Diario Ass with everything that's there. Zinedine Zidane, a big pull for them, their capacity to win the Champions League that we have seen in recent seasons. So a little French fancy there for Real Madrid. So we'll go to our resident Frenchman. What do you see with Kylian Mbappe for 2021, Jules? Just leave him alone. Leave him alone. He does, he, he does, <laughs> leave him alone. Just, just 2021. 20, just leave him alone. He doesn't need anything of that. He doesn't. <laughs> no. Listen. I. Of course, it's his dream one day to play at the Bernabeu for Real Madrid. We, we, we know that. We've been saying it for years now. Uh, the, the only worry. Well, I think the only thing is, I, I don't think right now Real Madrid can afford him. I'm not sure they can pay the whole package, which would be around 200 and 250 million euros, because. It's a huge transfer fee, it's a huge wage, it's a huge commission, and I just don't think that with the pandemic, with the current context, with no fans in La Liga, but probably for the whole season, I just don't think Real Madrid will have that kind of money this summer in 2021. Uh, and by then, he might have even extended his contract with PSG, which is the priority for, for, the, for the Parisians, which they're quite optimistic that he will do because they feel that he wants to stay a little bit longer before going to Real Madrid. So, personally, I just don't think it will happen this summer. Is he the star that Real Madrid need right now, Gab? I think, I think he'd make any team in the world better. Uh, and obviously, there is a natural transition there with, with Benzema getting older. I mean, heck, you know, if money were no object, roll on, get, get him now, and then get, uh, then get uh, Erling Brot Holland in, in, in 2022, and then you're set, right, forever. You've got Mbappe and Holland forever. But, I mean, that, that's, that's kind of like fantasy land thinking right now. Um, I think Real Madrid will obviously need something uh, in the summer, but I think, um, but, but I don't necessarily think that, that they're going to want to put all the eggs in the Mbappe basket for the reasons that, that Jules cited. Uh, you know, they've been hit, obviously, by the pandemic, as has everybody else. They have a huge stadium that they need to fill. And to go out and, uh, and, and, and generate all the cash that's required right now, I think, is going to be very, very difficult. And remember, they don't have that many saleable assets either that they can quickly rid themselves of uh, to raise money or to raise part of the money. What they do have is a lot of guys like Eden Hazard and, yes, Gareth Bale, who will be sticking around another year, probably, and earning an enormous salary. So they need to consider all those things. I don't see this happening in the summer at all. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.